today we're going to have a look at uh, the television camera. Do you know the way we did television cameras and taking a shot and all that type of thing? We're going to have a closer look. The short courses came about in Kalash de Kiran as a result of um, re the reading of the framework document which was published and we saw a great opportunity for the school to use these short courses to, to develop new kind of ways of teaching and learning for the students here. So basically what we did was we decided to present the, uh, the idea of the short courses to the different stakeholders, the different people who were involved. So we spoke with the staff uh, to explain to them the, new, the idea of the new junior cycle and what short courses were. We spoke to the board management, we made presentations to parents group and also we consulted with students to ask them what they thought they would like to see in these new short courses. Good evening, I'm Liam O'Hannon and you're listening to Colossus Kiran Radio. The, the school has a concert, a talent show and uh, we recorded um, two of the concerts that were, the, both of the concerts that were on and we edited it up to make uh, short videos. Oh yeah, I remember that. I was dancing on the stage while you were recording it. Yeah, yeah, I was recording that. I was the director of a Team Aces video that we've recently finished producing and it was fun but it did take a lot of time. Did you enjoy it? It was very enjoyable and it was a fun experience. From the very beginning, uh, the foundation of the whole programme and the new short course that we were developing were the key skills and the statements of learning. Everything we did, every decision we made, had to be able to find its way back to a foundation in the key skills and the statements of learning. It focused on key skills that the students would like to develop. It is fun. You have all the, all the assignments that you usually have with regular options, but you also have time to work with your friends. Do you want to move down? Yeah. You're going to work three, is that okay? The new radio and television short course here at Kalash de Kiran has changed my teaching completely. Whereas in the old system or the previous system of, te of teaching with the, with the subjects, I was um, a transmitter of knowledge. But now I see myself as a transformer of students. Now they began to take control of their own learning. The teachers will be there helping you but you also have to research it for your own benefit, which is actually very good, as it's not just handed to you in life, and this is the way you should be kind of really taught that you research it yourself. In short courses, the teachers behave in a more friendly manner than they would in a normal class, because they're more open and they're friendly, and they're, they don't give you big long speeches every two minutes, so they don't bore you to death. We, we, we make sure that the course doesn't rely on money, but we have, to, we have to rely on our own resource and what is available. I think we've proven here that it works, because out of this prefab we run a radio station, a television station, and there are close on 300 students studying radio and television broadcasting. I like the stuff we've been doing, so it's, like, I think I do better in these courses than I do in my regular subjects. Um, I just like the way like, we can do them at our own pace, we're not rushed to do anything or study or whatever. And um, I think they're handy as well because if you want to do a course similar to that in college, um, you have a lot of experience. Assessment is probably one of the most difficult things at the moment, but we've come up with a system here based on the guidelines from the NCCA. And we work on the base of assignment work that instead of giving a final written exam at the end of a year or end of two years or three years, what we do is we, we evaluate the work of the student, not the student, as we go along over the years. And that builds up a fantastic portfolio for any student that can go and say, that's my work. <laughs> Run it by me again. It's critical when you're working on a new short course that you get feedback. So one of the, our key sources of feedback came from the NCCA, which was really fantastic, that when we had our template design our course, um, that they would uh, advise us uh, on the directions we were taking uh, and uh, encouraging us along the way as we went along. Now this is invaluable, because if a school can get that kind of feedback from the NCCA, there's no limit to what you can design after that. We always had the reference of the key skills and the statements of learning. Now that's very comforting to know that if you're wondering, am I doing the right thing, you can go back to the key skills 
you can go back to the statements of learning and they will tell you where you're at.